Hello everyone and welcome back to the studio. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing a showcase on one of my latest concept artwork pieces, which is specifically for Minecraft. I've been really fascinated with Minecraft lately. I've been doing a lot of concept artwork for hopefully proposals of new uh, creatures, mobs, blocks, all the sorts of assets and things that could be added to the game. I played Minecraft for so many years since the first year that it was essentially out and I really just love all that's been done with the game, just how beautiful it is. So today I'm going to be showing you the beaver, which is an original concept artwork uh, piece of a mob and a few different assets that are included with that as well uh, that I've done here for you. And if you love this idea, please go ahead and show some support. I'm really hoping that we could get something like this implemented into the game. So let's start with the top left right here. One of the really cool things about the beaver as opposed to a whole bunch of other different mobs that we already have in the game is this would be sort of an amphibious sort of creature in the way that we would have it both kind of like on land and in the water at the same time. Um, it would probably be more on land uh, on blocks rather than in the water, but you'd be able to see it in both aspects. So that's something that's kind of rare uh, with a lot of the mobs that we have. So as you can see right here with the water, if you can imagine uh, sort of it being halfway submerged or two-thirds the way submerged you would see the top of its head and the top of its body as it's swimming through the water and so if you went underwater you'd be able to see the bottom half of them as as well through the water and i think that's really cool you've got this large tail which is right here as we're looking at the orthographic of the creature the tail as you can see is a little bit larger than the head beavers have really long tails and when we're implementing this into a pixel form uh, with the tail and the fur and sort of the chubby legs and arms, I really wanted to try to grab those proportions to be as believable as possible, but also to grab some really nice texturing to sort of show the really thick fur that they have. Now moving on to our first asset, uh, this is in foliage. And so one of the things I thought would be really cool is the implementation of a water lily. Now, if you could imagine, this would be attached to the lily pads. So this little bud that you see on the bottom right here is what would be directly placed around the lily pad. That's what would go right into it so you could have it, the rest of it could be flat. And so that would be placed inside of a, a lily pad. Whether it's the same lily pad asset that we already have or a new one specifically for this, I suppose it could be done either way, but this was really meant for lily pads that already exist just to make it a bit easier. There's three different variations that you could have. There's white, there's yellow, there's pink. Obviously there could be more, but these are some of the most common ones that we normally see. Um, let's go ahead and move on to why this asset is important. Well, beavers cannot be domesticated. They're not gonna be tames that like dogs um, in that sort of way where you can domesticate them, but you can have them follow you around. So it's sort of this new hybrid. And so if you use a water lily, which is what they like to consume for their food, then you can take the water lily right here and you can hold it in your hand, as you can see Alex is doing right here. And the beavers, just like if you would have a cow or a chicken or a sheep, will then follow you. And what's really cool is you can take a beaver or multiple beavers, but you really only need one. And you can guide them to perhaps you know through a forest or around a different biome to where it is that your home is or whatever it is that you would like to guide them and as long as there is a river which is in the area they can make a new dam and so as long as you have one just like with bees they'll be able to set up a new hive and so i thought that was a really cool feature that way you could be able to bring them out from the wild and be able to put them towards somewhere uh, that you specifically want them to be building dams so let's talk about the actual dams themselves. Dams are based around, just like with bees, a source block. And so the source block that you have, as you can see, this sort of close up right here, is gonna be uh, sort of as a log that you would have, a collection of logs and sticks. And so this is gonna be a birch dam, right, that you have right here, a birch tree dam. And so you have the sticks you can see on top. And as you can see, this is very different from the normal assets that we have, not to be confused with all the other ones. You can see how it's clearly, it's distinct. You can tell it apart from all the other different birch logs. And so if you could imagine this block, you could kind of have uh, on the side this uh, sort of circle, which would be an opening, just like you would see in a normal beaver's home in their den. And so that way that the beavers, you know, it'd be this as if they were able to enter inside of it, uh, this home. And, 
you know, underneath with these different logs. I mean, this is the top, but you could imagine you could have different wood blocks around it underneath the water too to create this image of this sort of like dome uh, that the beavers could could live in. Um, you know, and they actually, they maybe they do go inside of that dome, maybe they don't, maybe it's just like bees where they kind of disappear, but I think that's really cool that um, that we could have that potential of having a sort of home for the beavers that they would sort of disappear into, but really this is the source block and that's what matters. And so when you guide them to a new area, they will put down, they'll drop down one of these source blocks, they'll build it, and that's how you know that more beavers will start spawning in the area. You could have maybe up to six, seven different beavers per dam uh, that end up forming. And as it progresses, you'll see these different logs right here from uh, from fallen trees will start to build up and so you'll start to have water blocked in this sense and you'll get this kind of dam shape because of the fact that as the beavers grow in numbers the dam will also grow as well and so we have this beautiful birch tree biome which is surrounding it with some waterfalls that are going off and this is hopefully the kind of uh, image of sort of the creation this little miniature biome that would be made um, kind of almost like how meadows were uh, recently added to the game and this is where you'd be able to find beavers in the wild it's really identifiable it's really noticeable and you'd be able to bring that right back home to where it is that you would want to have that um, so I hope that this kind of gives you some really cool ideas brings about some excitement I'd really love to see this in the game if you want to see more of my other concept artwork, go ahead and click on the other videos. But if you really love this, go ahead and show support for it, and let's hope that someday we see this in Minecraft. Thanks for watching.